let's go continues. <laughs> My mic was entirely mute that during that whole entire speech. <laughs> it ain't been a Noki stream sc scream. It isn't a Noki stream without some scuff. So. Oh yeah, I was just saying that, yeah, I was thinking not to do it today, but you know, it's, it's fine, I'm, I'm okay, like mentally, it's just, you know, a lot has been going on in the world that has been affecting me personally, and it kind of hurts, you know, it's, it really sucks, like everything that's going on, but, yeah, what can you do? It's already on. Browse YouTube. <laughs> just have fun with that. Yeah. Yeah, let's just uh yeah, let's just go browse on YouTube or something. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, I'm all the way over here. Let me oh is that good? Uh I could be smaller. Hang on. Huh. Uh I could be up. Hang on. I'm a professional, I swear. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Um, how's my sound looking? I'm connected, so that's good. Uh, yeah, let's just browse YouTube. Let's just have some fun. Ooh. Oh, Mayashi, Rin. What, what's this? Uh, I wanna, I wanna oh, know this one. Chapter of YouTube's stream. You're worried about the knowing them or making a fool of yourself. Thank you. We need more people who are self-aware. <laughs> I love, I love Rin so much. She's so cool. I love her. The things you say relevant to the stream you're watching. This includes not mentioning uh -huh. other people uh -huh. unless they're relevant to the topic at hand. I don't care uh -huh. about what uh -huh. you did at school today, Timmy. I'm just trying to focus on not dying. Don't repeat the same message uh -huh. for once uh -huh. or twice, even if you really want the streamer to see it. If it's really important, send it to them through Twitter or Marshmallow or something. Otherwise, if you've repeated it, you still haven't noticed. <laughs> Move on, man. Don't bring up controversial uh -huh. or heavy subjects uh -huh. in the chat unless that's what's being talked about on stream. Remember that lots of people are watching VTubers because it's something nice and fun in the constant sea of awful Buddhist society. They don't need to hear your hot Yeah, yeah, you're having right. a bad day, there's always someone better to talk to than the funny British anime girl. Overall, just don't make <laughs> things more difficult for the person whose job it is to run the stream. Please. My eyes uh -huh. hurt. Uh -huh. My back hurt. My voice hurts. Uh -huh. Let me uh -huh. do my job in peace, Timmy. So, you want to- <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you heard- you heard it, Timmy. Just, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, go, go watch Ren. Ren is really good. Hey, that's me! Like, that's me! <laughs> uh, this is my account, right? Oh, yeah, it is good. It's on my alt. Okay. Yes, I have an alt. I don't know. Just, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, every VTuber has, like, an alt that's just, like, their personal thing. So, I don't know. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, tips on making affected. I actually seen this one, this one video, and it's actually pretty good. It's like just generally good character design. It's like, yeah. Ooh, oh, I seen this video too. It's so good. Just like, just Shy Lily's such a good creator. So good creator. Uh oh yeah, all the uh like um Project Voltage stuff. That's that's really been fun. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, I want to do this. I want to make a TV head so badly. Um. Oh, you know what I want? I, I know you probably saw it already, but. <laughs> I like this video. This is a good video. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Just stop it. <laughs> Alright, that's probably enough. 
Oh, it's just a bunch of silly things. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> just a bunch of like silly things. Uh, I want to just like look at and all that. Uh, ooh! Oh, oh my god, I love my dry bread. Yeah, how about we just watch with my dry bread? In case you guys don't know who this person is, uh, it's my dry bread. And, oh my Uh, that's a lot of videos, dude. Like, I know you've been doing, like, a video a day, but, like, oh my god. Anyways. Uh, looks like his latest was Fire Red with Barboach, which is pretty cool. You know, let's, uh, I, actually, my first, my first Pokemon game was Alpha Sapphire, and then my second one was, uh, Pokemon Y. I came into the Pokemon scene very, very late. But, yeah, let's, uh... I want to watch this. This is a good video. I think it's a good video. I bet it could give good commentary regarding it. Oh, yeah. Fixed it for you. Oh. No, you didn't. He oh. wants to call you Big oh. League MTV? <laughs> what? Oh, what? I love Loser. highlight videos. We're not That's your friends anymore. <laughs> this is the town. This is the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I love the idea of, like, as you reach the Pokemon Champion, he's like, and by the way, before we start, this is the Pokemart. <laughs> this is the Pokemart. Oh, did you receive an X attack? Let me show you how that works. Big League MDB. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. Are you the famous Big League MDB? I wish my name could have been Are You the Famous Big League MDB? <laughs> I'm Honestly, a big fan of your yeah. Pokemon challenges. Can you do a run with only Chespin? So, what do you think that Pokemon <laughs> sounds like? Because I think it sounds like Goofy. <laughs> Gorsh. Like, that's what a Pokemon <laughs> form does. I think uh, Gorsh might be its like, cry. I like, think one uh, of those Youngster Joey! Called? I don't know. It's Youngster oh. Joey! Follow me on Twitter! <laughs> wow. That was loud. Yeah, follow me on Twitter. You, yeah. like, leaned back. I could tell. Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love when it how trainers, trainers do that. Meet, it's time to battle. <laughs> Adventure. I love how trainers... You're damn right it does. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. I, I love it when trainers, like, turn their head before you go into their line of sight. It's just, it's so funny. It's so creepy, but it's so funny. Anyways. <laughs> Adventure rules! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it becomes town yeah. flame. That sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like a mid-2000s username from a child that wants to sell on Newgrounds. What? X, no. X, X. No. Wait, no, no, okay, okay, I take offense to that. <laughs> Talonflame is a, you know what, yeah, Talonflame is a lame name for a Pokemon, actually. It sounds like a Digimon name. Like, no, no flack to, like, Digimon, but, like, the hell. It's Talonflame XXX. Now, where's the move renamer? Because we might start renaming Pokemon <laughs> that we get attached to. The move renamer? I wish I could rename Absorb. Move renamer? Uh, <laughs> you know what I meant? <laughs> Probably in Lumios City, uh, I'm not sure. The move renamer. <laughs> move renamer. Wait, that lady just ran out of the cafe and she wasn't in there. Was that a ghost? The rich get richer. All I, I know there is like is ghosts. Roller blade around your house. <laughs> I'll never forget these fireworks, but I haven't seen I, I know them that they're yet. like ghost girls <laughs> in Pokemon, so. Okay, hold on, hold on. I know I was just freezing yeah. the game. But who decided what Pokemon really needed was a forest love story with your main <laughs> character and someone else? I got uh, like, fully legit. Yeah, I always got weirded out by that. Zellers, like, why am I? Why am I forced Ooh, to be a love like story with this character? Canadian. That's pretty good because I'm Canadian. That's a deep Canadian cover. I'm not Canadian. Is a business, isn't it? Yeah, but it I'm was not Canadian. On a I don't get it. <laughs> why? Because people were reminiscing. When was this? <laughs> when was this? I will repeat my question. Why? Two years ago. Okay, Why? whatever. You know, Zeddy's the restaurant. Hang on. Gotta get water. People, I could just came up. People sick, were just reminiscing. So that's why were I they simply kind of reminiscing funky? about how that's it existed? Why. Because I can't think of any fond times I've had in <laughs> Zellers. <laughs> About, it's like, like all I think it's like the equivalent of uh, having moments <laughs> in their first like kiss a at target or something. Yeah. <laughs> first kiss at Target. Go I'm cray cray <laughs> for flabebe. 
<laughs> that's dumb. Oh, that's my new hit single, everybody. <gasps> that's that thing I so forgot dumb. was on my team is evolving. Hooray! What's it gonna what become? It <laughs> I hope it's the same thing, but with Honestly, angry eyes, like the cover in a, of an American Kirby game. It, you're asleep, and okay, it will help for you. Mm, Ooh. Mm, I don't know, guys. I think I've got this one. I'll just head. Do button. it. <laughs> well, pretty good. Uh, this is gonna be oh, embarrassing. If he places next. <laughs> okay. Okay. Will I hang on? Oh, oh no! He's God. getting you out of there. <laughs> he realizes he I can't love how the NPCs you. just do is that. Is Rhyhorn Pikachu? Google that. What do you get? Uh, in the is trivia Rhyhorn section Pikachu? of Bulbapedia, it says here that Rhydon was originally going to be the evolution of Pikachu. However, okay. uh, early sketches of Rhydon suggest that it probably looks a bit more like a Nido King. Oh. Uh, Wait, okay. what? That, makes that makes no sense. What? Oh, it but does then not make originally, sense. Originally, it also was going to evolve into Mewtwo. Oh, what? but then Shigeru yeah, there, Miyamoto there, came in and he's looking over okay. everyone's homework, and he's like, what? No, that's fucking stupid. And Phil Spencer came in and said, yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, and and Phil Spencer, uh... who secretly created Pokemon, <laughs> he, he was like, oh, right. damn, I guess I'll have Pikachu evolve into Raichu, and Raihorn evolve into Raidon. Oh, man, whatever. I just needed... I just needed Shigeru Miyamoto to come in here and sort things out for me. It's so complicated. Now, people, if you don't him. believe us, uh, you can look it up yourself. Yes. If you just go into the dictionary and you look up the word gullible, it'll explain the whole story. <laughs> Someone know. Yeah. Yeah. I just go watch my dry bed. It's, you know, he's, he's a cool creator. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> YouTube really wants... Actually... Actually, I have an idea. No, I'm right there. Okay. What happens if I open up my stream while streaming it? Hey, just go watch my drive at it. You know, you hey, it's me. <laughs> hey, it's me again. It's, YouTube it's me again. Actually, actually, I have an idea. No, I'm right there. Okay. What happens if I open up my stream while streaming it? Just gotta wait. I just realized, like, it's very, very quiet. Or is that... Oh! Wait. <laughs> Hang on. Gotta higher up the volume a little bit. There you go. I just realized, like, it's very, very quiet. <laughs> I'm just being oh, quiet because <laughs> okay I don't think it's gonna work the way I want it to so you know we'll just we'll just move on <laughs> just layers uh... <laughs> I love this video I'm gonna watch this video Jello Apocalypse is also a really good creator um, oh shoot uh, that's not at all what I wanted uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> just no, dog in love is such a good like series of videos hey it's me again <laughs> uh but yeah actors that are attractive mirror Leon. me uh, uh, lorelei right i, I Kabu, guess the fire guy from J. Yeah. I guess, I guess it's like me doing Dude, like my smash favorite is Leon. with them uh he's so stupid <laughs> I like he is he stupid, but uh, I'm not. Mm. His spine has grown so scoliosis that it's that actually face? extending up through his weird God. hair. Ooh, yeah, okay, but out. Brock, though? No, he's a child. Get him out of here. Sabrina, there you yeah. go. Well, mm, I actually don't know the ages of these characters. Sabrina's full yeah, on. Yeah, isn't that kind of weird? Okay. Well, yeah, let's just, let's just go on through. Let, uh, skip the children, yeah. but, yeah. like, thumbs up, thumbs down on each of these real quick. Thumbs up, uh, thumbs down. Uh, okay. Lieutenant Surge, thumbs down. No. Yeah, yeah, I don't no. want a military boy. Erica, Erica's cute, but yeah, she's fine. Not my type. She's boring. I like her. Coke she's, is, she's, she's not ugly, adult. but uh, yeah, he's 
You know, I'd say he's a little Dilfy, but actually. he's not my Dilf. Hashtag not my Dilf. <laughs> Let's get that trending, folks. I'll second that. Sabrina's <laughs> also hot, but like also uh, very much yeah, not my up. type at all. Like, not my type, but if I yeah, was ranking Gen 1 gym leaders on I like, hotness, I like she'd trainers. probably They're be really cool. to the top. Oh yeah, she's up there. Blaine. I like his energy. I, you know, his thumbs down. Let's talk to Blaine. Robotic. Thumbs down. Blaine can get it a <laughs> okay, little bit. I think I'm gonna pass on Blaine. Okay, right. Yeah, I can respect uh, it, smart. but I will pass as well. Giovanni, yeah. absolutely not. He's just a double man, thumbs down. I hate double like this guy. I'd marry him for the he's money, not, then divorce yeah. to get half of it. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Lorelai for go. me is like the the little bit of extra uh, spice that Sabrina would need to get no, me thumbs down. Uh, yeah. to get no. me on board. I love Lorelai. She's very very hot. Don't like yep. it. She is. Bruno's Don't like. just a big guy. Not not my type, but uh, there's, there's thumbs some down. Thumbs there. No, thumbs, thumbs down. down. Thumbs Agatha, down. Agatha, again, kind of down. Can, no, she's, she's very small and crazy, but like you I love the hair. Energy. Like my We're talking little hottest. Tooth. 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 I know. Tooth. You know what? There Weirdly, go. Lance, I'm gonna say no. Yes. I think what is this art of him? Haircut, what the hell? No, thumbs down. I'd be into it. Yeah, I think I if he, if he, I think he do if have he eyelashes like though. A different person entirely, I'd be into it. What is your beef with Lance? <laughs> is this guy's kind of hot. Not gonna lie. Gen two. Uh, what? Faulkner's no. an adult because he becomes a police officer. No, he's a child. Uh, thumbs no. down. Thumbs though. down. Yep. Thumbs down. Yeah. Oh, I like Faulkner. Faulkner's cute. I think he, I He's all right. Morty also feels like a loser. Morty's so hot. Let's talk about his facial expression and his redesign. He looks like he just farted uh, and is waiting for you to smell it. No, Marissa. thumbs down. You're just not, saying not even, like, that the because comic. you want to be contrarian. Just don't. Just don't I'm not. Like look, I, all right. You guys rate this man on the scale of, yeah, that's a sexy facial expression to huge silent fart i say he's in the, in the middle no. chuck no nope thumbs down uh, oh no guy. but not one you want to hang chuck out with have, you like, a wife no. and kids though probably Aww. he has a wife yeah sure he's got he a wife does, yeah chuck his fucks. wife's chuck oh. fucks but like oh, no. yeah no chuck's a little <laughs> no mm. right no mm. Mm. Just no. a guy. Yeah, no. Claire physically very sexy. I uh, hate her personality. Yeah, I, I have to agree with that. Like, yes, but then once she starts talking, kid. but She's no. She's so cool. Yeah, and then, big no. You know, as I got older, I was like, shut the fuck up, Claire. Get out of here. Claire has the same problem <laughs> as her up, cousin Claire. in that she needs a different haircut. Claire has the same problem. I can't as tell if this is, that her this is too loud. Is extremely boring. What's wrong with Lance? Boring. What's right? What's bright with What's Lance? Right with Lance Marissa? What's Describe bright with him? Lance Elite Four to me. I don't know. What's right with him? Okay, there you go. He, he got boy. cape. He boy. <laughs> he boy. Okay, fair enough. Listen, listen. I see where Marissa's coming from because back in the day, picking pickings were slim enough. They, you know? They're not now, though. He ginger. The hair color does give him a lot. Is that I'm what? He what? <laughs> boy and ginger. Your child's dense impact. <laughs> child is not a ginger. Get out of here. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Uh, this I one was I is, and it really is Marissa. Uh, no. I, no. <laughs> this is the argument that you've given for Lance, and I've presented hard counter evidence. <laughs> I love this argument that's going on. Oh. Annoying. He feels like he's always on. No, yes, no, thumbs no, up, man. thumbs he's up. I love him. He's got the no, no, I love I, his panache. I like. I like. I want his outfit. He do I, like Will, I want his outfit. I, I like Will too. <laughs> I like Will too. <laughs> I like Will yeah, too. So funny. And <laughs> yeah. Great to have around. I I love the mask. I love the hair. I love the jacket. Just everything about him. Yes. Perfect. Karen, absolutely. Oh. Uh, yes. Everyone yeah. Knows sure. That sure. Karen is hot. Yeah. Especially yeah. the person yeah. who drew Karen. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's sweet uh, or whatever. Oh, uh, what you say his scene? He looks like an Ace Attorney character. So, I no. really liked him when I was a kid. I, I really called liked him, you scene. I always called him Usai. <laughs> who, who is? Well, I do not remember this character the at all. The guy who was obsessed with Suicune, like the magic yeah. man. He's only oh. in Crystal. He seems really <laughs> annoying. Yeah, yeah I'm not a fan. Gen 3, uh, Roxanne <laughs> Baby. I think Brawley's Rock Rockman Baby. Uh, uh, he's, he's oh! Got, he seems fun to hang out with. 
Remake, remake, remake. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely yeah this is peak character more, design. Probably. Yeah. Watson. I love this. Not sec like, Watson. Hmm. I don't know. What? Watson's got um, something. So I like Watson, Watson but not. Yeah, I'm just gonna say thumbs to down, but I really like him. Young hot bitch of a wife. What? What? But Watson can clearly get it, apparently. Flannery, I believe, is also a child, yeah. despite her being, uh, being very porned. Yeah, um, yeah no, I'm not going with guys. Flannery. Norman, double thumbs down. Terrible. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, a no. Normal dude and a shit yeah. dad. <laughs> yeah, I don't like uh, his hairline. I'm kind of sick, so bear in mind. Winona? Maybe a little. Yes. Yes, I think Winona's absolutely. hot. I yes. like her dumb outfit. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. Winona's got pretty hair. Yeah. Winona's Real got pretty. a dumb outfit, and yet she pulls it off. Winona mm -hmm. knows her aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Tate, Good for her. Tate, yep. uh, Liza, children. 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 Wallace, Okay, but Okay, just... Yes. Oh, shoot. Okay, before we move on, I just want to, like, mention that, like, uh, how do I... There you go. Uh, I do like their design, though. Like, their whole, like, gimmick. I really like them. They're probably one of my favorite gym leaders of all time. I just like them. They're really, really, really nice. Children. Children. Just wanted to mention Perhaps that. The oh! Yes! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of mm -hmm. 10? Mm -hmm. No! Mm -hmm. 100 out of 10! Slowly! Yeah. Wallace cannot be what? beaten. He wins! We mm -hmm. both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about Juan? Juan? What? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't what? like Juan. No opinion. Yeah, no. Juan feels like he wants to be a he wants to be a classic. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm kind of jumping from video to video because I frankly, uh, you know, I I have a short attention span. I need. The yeah, this video is basically. Is basically how I am right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's basically me right now. <laughs> uh, we can get rid of that. Uh, let's see. I guess we can look at the shy Lily video because I like I like I like it. Uh, let's look at, uh, Moonlight Jewel, like, let's not watch the reaction, let's watch, like, the actual, like, yeah. Anyways, as you can see, I've already, like, played a bit of it. If you've been watching me for a while, oh, well. you know that making VTuber dolls has a very special place in my heart. And today we're gonna make mm -hmm. another one of my personal favorites. Shyly. She is one of the cutest yeah. designs ever, but because it's me, mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna make her in her regular outfit. Nope. We're gonna make this elaborate bedazzled gown because, well, I can't help myself and I like it. <laughs> My friend I Pixie did an outstanding job again in sculpting a custom face, custom booba, and custom accessories for this project. Thank you so much. I'm kind of wondering, like, maybe I should commission someone to make a like Noki figure or like, a Noki doll or something I don't know I think that would be really cool but I don't know how it would work because uh as you can see uh I I don't have legs I have tail I have a very nice tail and I have no idea how how oh my cat's yelling at me uh I'll be right back. I'm just going to go grab him. Hi, buddy. What's going on? Okay. Cat pacified. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we can Thank continue. So much, oh, come here. Hi. So in order to make the well, doll, wait. we, well, wait. have to make wait. the doll first. Wait. So let's do that. To print all the doll pieces, I first throw oh. them into my slicer and render it out, which always looks so satisfying. Oh. Okay, so I got my files, I got my resin, so let's get printing. Same procedure oh. as with every printing round, I fill in the resin into the vat and fire up the first printing process. A couple hours later, you can see it's almost done, oh. so I just need to wait for the last few layers to print, and for the printer, raising all the way to the top, where I can then remove the plate and reveal the prints. 
Everything printed. I can't believe this. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> I'm constantly amazed by doll makers. Like, they make their own dolls, and it's just like the most pretty thing ever. Oh. And after a cleansing wash in alcohol and three more rounds of rinse, I can then put the pieces into my curing station and my. Look at that. Look at that Chet's piece. And so this time the 3D printing gods finally heard my prayers and I almost had no issues printing the doll. So here is the bodysuit. Before I assemble the doll, I wanted to show you the cute face that Blue sculpted for this project. Oh, and that's so cute. Piece as well. Yes, I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Very, Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Perhaps very nice. Puts mine the shave. And I'm just very happy with all the prints. <laughs> to show you just how many pieces I have to oh, piece it's so together, I laid them out here. <laughs> if you're not familiar with springing dolls, man, this might they're be so cool. But it gets easier with time. Okay, so this time I wanted to make things Ooh. a bit differently because I wanted to see how long I actually need to assemble oh. the doll. So <laughs> my bad. I got my stopwatch set up. I got my doll pieces, my elastic, my glue, my magnets. So let's see how long it will take me. <laughs> go, 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 and going quite quickly. Oh, how long? How long is that? Twenty-two minutes to so string that whole thing together. Exactly twenty-two minutes to string doll. <laughs> That's a lot faster than I thought. I guess at this point yeah. I'm quite practiced in stringing dolls. <laughs> and here you can honestly, see the whole doll it's assembled. like that's just so a talent, honestly. And I'm honestly so excited to start working on her. Her open mouth expression is just it's so, so cool. Do you know what's also it's sweet? So cool. Honey, which is also the name Add of the sponsor. PayPal Honey. But what is honey? <laughs> you might ask. Well, you. All right. Um, this is the point where I'm gonna say go watch the original video. Uh, it's I yeah, it's by uh, it's by Moonlight Jewel. Watch the original video. They deserve all the views. Um, and yeah. Anyways, uh, we can we can. Fr <laughs> what is this freeze freeze frame that I did? Yeah, there it's you go. Time to make the wig. I already made the wig cap. Hmm. And made some workings for the white strands oh. and harvested wefts from an old wig. And yeah, let's <laughs> do the back of the head first, and then we'll work with the front and the bangs and everything. So it's really, week, really, really interesting how each each creator does a different <laughs> method in order to like do hair. Because I've seen like rerooting, I've seen uh, like wig making. I've seen just like it's gluing been, onto the actual thing. Already now, and so now it's very, very interesting. The bangs and hopefully make them look good. <laughs> to build up the front part of the wig for Shy Lily, I just have to make sure to always glue the black and white wefts at exactly the same spots so we will have those typical two white bang strands that you have in the end. And for easier handling, I shorten the black middle part already to not have more hair flying around than necessary. To finish the front of the wig, I use Ooh. a folded around weft like this and glue it to the top of the wig, taming it down with heat and distributing it evenly. To match the parting weft Ooh. with the back of the wig, I glue another folded weft in the opposite direction and also tame it in place. And then I use my tiny scissors and cut the bangs to their final length. A bunch of the cutoffs oh, fell so off the cool. shiny lace chest. <laughs> mm, hairy booba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so silly. In a cute sideways braided ponytail and secure the ends with elastic. Hairs are done, but her ears are still missing. The pixie also sculpted <gasps> these and the I ears. Now just have to paint them. I I love like fantasy ears. Black on the outside. Like Shia Lily's ears are so cool. I just want to flop them. I, I just want to flop them. <laughs> First one, and then the other ear. And with that, Shia Lily's so cool. done. And I'm really She's proud so cute. of myself for being able to recreate her iconic hairstyle. I did not add the ahoge because she will be wearing a cat hood, and it wouldn't have worked with that, sadly. Oh, and I also oh. added a tiny little stud. Yeah, okay. That's what I have. Accuracy of the look I'm going for. Time for the face up. 
I was really oh. looking forward to this because I love painting these open mouth expressions so much. After sealing her off with Mr. Super Clear, I can then take my primic shimmers and dust them all over the face to give so her skin a magical glittery. Before taking last it's pink so glittery. Oh, no, wrong toggle. So <laughs> glittery. With the base flushing done, I take a brown colored pencil and will oh. first sketch up her eye lines. Using brown instead oh. of black helps erase mistakes easier. When one eye was done, I simply copy, mirror, and paste it to the other side and end up with something like this. <laughs> I wish it was that easy in real life. <laughs> and while we're at it, yeah, you would not believe how difficult so art can be. Dive into stage two of the face up, adding paint. As you can see, I was so Ooh. excited to paint the mouth, I even started with it and first paint the back of it with Bordeaux red. Okay, I'm letting this dry now before I paint the tongue and let's paint the eye lines now. The lid lines. That is a nightmare. Oh god. Painting the Ooh. lid lines was probably the hardest part of the face up because they are so so thin. And I had to make sure to always have I like drawing lid lines. It's very, very fun. But hey, after that I it really like paint the gives dimension to your piece. And yeah, and if you can like see with mine, uh, course, you can see right there I have lid lines. I figured that using ink for <gasps> little T is a really nice way of getting pigmented thin acrylic paint. And now finally we can fill in the eye lines with Teeth. black acrylic paint. Teeth. This step always is so magical because the face uh. goes from sketch <laughs> to a more finalized version. The secret here is to stop drinking coffee and rest your drawing hand with one or two fingers on your other hand. I don't drink coffee, I drink tea. And yet, and the only time where my hands like start shaking is when I have energy drinks. But that's only when I don't have tea. To paint them, I always <gasps> them out first in this case with oh. a blue colored pencil, but also adding some purple with a purple pencil to the end of the Oh my god, her little face markings. It's and so pretty. All the marks out, I then fill them in with paint. Oh, she's so pretty. I decided to make the gradients with paint this time, and oh boy, was that difficult. Like, I don't know how she's so pretty. Elizabeth's gradient looks so easy, but I needed so long to make this look good. Oh, making it's the gradients so was not that easy. But I made it work. After being satisfied with those gradients, it's finally time for some curly sh- Oh my god, <laughs> I wrote shy. Shine lighter! <laughs> yeah! Now, just some gloss on her water lines is missing. I didn't gloss the mouth this time because it will look better on photos later if it's matte. Alright, let's let the face oh, up fill in. It's and so pretty. Blue so made these eye templates for her draw over of the 3D model, so I will be using these and printed them out already. Then, using a half sphere Ooh. silica mold, I pour in some resin into it, put the iris onto the resin upside down and let the whole thing cure under my UV lamp for about two minutes. Afterwards, we can demold and end up with a cute eye. I realized that the size was off though, so I made the eyes again, and here they are. And here is Shy Lily's face. Let's smash them together with editing magic. Oh my god, I wasn't sure ah, just how much she was so really cute. Like her, but this is insane. She's so cute. She's so cute. <laughs> Yes, she's so cute, so anime, and I love her. So nice to also add the body markings to Shailene's body, and she did a marvelous job. Thank you so much, Leon. Oh, that's and so I good. Blue bracelets already with some satin resin onto the outfit. It's so to pretty. Shailene's facing too. I'm first going to iron on some seam lines with white fabric vinyl onto some white super elastic spandex fabric. I really got a dust off that iron press at one point. <laughs> After ironing it for 20 seconds, I then peel off the transfer vinyl and have some perfect iron seam lines. Oh my god, I'm trying it's to so cut good. out the pieces now that I just ironed because I have to cut them super accurate along those printed or ironed on lines. And oh my god, it's taking forever. Basically, you can see here I have to cut Yeah, them I've done this. sewing super before and it's and really hard. To have it like super super clean it looks fantastic when it's done but it takes forever <laughs> okay i finally managed to cut out the bottom piece it was a nightmare but hey now i have it and i already ironed seam shoot <laughs> sorry cut out so that i uh, can where were we? this glitter blue glitter tool uh my mic iron this iron. to iron on pieces that have had yeah my mic's on, good you always have to cover them up with a baking paper or something <sighs> similar for the vinyl not to get stuck on your iron and melt. Then I just carefully remove the piece from my iron board and will now add the back pieces to the bralette of the bodice first. Now we 
you can put the bodice aside and prep the top part of the bathing suit by some of the Uh, that was a mistake. My bad. Bang on. Oh, shoot. Why is it speeding up? It's speeding up. Now I have the honor. Why was it speeding up? What did I do? <laughs> Merge these two pieces together. Yay. Okay, I think we're good. Right? I always like to pin the middle part and then distribute the rest. Uh, oh my god, why do I keep doing that? Oh well. Uh, let's see. I sew the whole thing. After sewing, it looks like this. Now we have to connect the back oh. of by sewing it finished front in as well. It's really impressive to draw, back, like, so doll, like, like stuff. Piece, it's very, very, it's very, very impressive. I did not sew this because I wanted a seamless finish. With doll mm -hmm. sewing pieces, mm -hmm. gluing is actually a very common practice, and it's not always possible yeah. to sew everything. Now just a little bit yeah, which is something you gotta realize when you're doing like doll clothing at that small of a scale, you know? It's very, very interesting to learn. And to be able to add Tyler's little buckle and charm, I then glue two fabric strips onto it and finish it off with a little Ooh. pink buckle that I'm going to be gluing to the middle of the choker. With this outfit, Millie wears a small bell on the choker, so I'm also attaching that to the buckle with a small gold Oh, that's so nice! And close it with my gold pliers. Now the bathing suit is almost done. Just the little flowers are missing, which I will be making from this blue cord. I first make a loop like this and leave the end long, and then make four more petals like this and glue them to the first loop until I end up with a little flower. Ooh. Then I open up the cord, remove the tender string, and brush it out. I just have to straighten this with the hair iron. After straightening the brushed cord, we have a cute little tassel. Now I just have to repeat the whole process. Tassels are so cute. And then add small golden heart beads to finish off the flowers. I attach them with PVC. Man. Glue. Last step is to glue the flowers. I want it. I want this bathing suit. This looks so nice. Done. I feel the glittery tool is such a cute detail, and I'm glad the flowers it's look so good. It's so cute. Too. For closures, I put some velcros to the bathing suit. Okay, so the oh man, that's so good. Lily's kimono dress, which actually gave me a lot of headaches. <laughs> All right, so technically the outfit in its 2D form doesn't really work in 3D or from a sewing point of view. So I spent a whole day really? shaking my head trying to figure out <laughs> how to make this outfit work. I couldn't really figure out a way how to do it though. So I asked my good friend and power seamstress Moyashi doll. She literally was my knight in shining armor and came up with the idea to make the sleeves separate from the rest of the gown. So with that in mind, I was able to draft out a pattern. I, I have never been interrupted this much. Step. Which was Just exactly trying to react to a cute content. video. And with the designs all done, I sent them to a fabric printing company and got my finished fabric just a few days later Ooh. because they are awesome. So the fabric just <laughs> arrived for Shailene's kimono thing and I'm mm -hmm. just looking mm -hmm. through it. It looks so, so good. Yeah, this, wow, this is a very long video. Uh, but yeah, we... We can see the uh, final, the final version. I mean, look how good that is. Now that, now that is so pretty. That is so gorgeous. But yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hey, that's me again. <laughs> it's me again. Uh, is there anything else? Oh. I, I'm kind of tempted. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh. I want to see this. I want to see this video. This looks cool. I'm not prone to, uh, to, uh, clickbait. Okay, listen. This is a book. This is a big boy yeah. book. But what I want to yeah. make is a super mega chunky thick boy book. Because how epic would it be to have this jiggly looking tome that actually goes boom when I put it down? Huh? Like an actual. Yeah. But the yes. problem is, it's not going to be easy. The biggest issue is. Why are you thinking? Hello? Is this thing on? Thank you. The yeah. biggest issue is that all my leather is too <laughs> small, and I can't wrap 
fit around the whole thing. How am I gonna fix that? I don't know. The next problem, all my cool little decoration pieces are way <laughs> too tiny. You see how dumb this looks? Small. Which means everything has to be made from scratch. But uh, let's just begin with the, with the easy stuff. The paper, folding, the paper. I found this paper. gigantic A1 size drawing paper. It was so hard to find, man. I had to go to all the like special stores and I had this specially ordered. And this is so big. Look at the size of that oh. paper. <laughs> I, mean, oh. I hear that like a zero is like the biggest you can so get. So basically, what's gonna happen is we fold the paper, stitch the paper together mm -hmm. into a nice block, mm -hmm. and then we can make the I've done book binding. with all the leather, the metal, all the good stuff. But first, paper first. I've done book binding. Oh, it's, this is gonna be a big book. I've sorted all the paper into these stacks of four, so now I'm just gonna put some weight on top just to flatten it out. It's been about 24 hours, so let's get this off. <laughs> She's so me like, for real. What's the only thing that was flat enough? Some protection. Now that's a sack of paper. <laughs> that's, that's a sack of paper. So long to stitch. For this size, it kind of has to be that big to just relatively look just correct. But ooh, 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 ooh. normally, I can stitch all the paper together in like five hours a day, something like that. But uh, with this one, <laughs> let's put the clock right there, and uh, we'll see how long this one takes. Step one: mark some holes. Nice. Step two: dead. Yes, this is like a method that I've done before. And I mean, three, stitch. Oh man. Oh man, this might suck. It's three and a half, almost four hours in, and I'm only done with one third. Okay, two more to go. Man, this is so cool. I want to do this. I want to do more like professional book binding. This looks so much fun. I say fun, but this looks like torture. <laughs> Can I even tire this thing? Like, oh, <laughs> oh it's so heavy. So far, so good. One little thing, the foredge here becomes curved because of the spine, and I would really prefer this edge to just be like straight down. So, uh, we're gonna chop it. Mm. It is uh, harder than it sounds. The thing about like cutting the edge implants here is it's uh, very messy and a lot of work because I basically have to clamp it down, use a box knife to score and score and score and score and score and score. And, score. and when I've done that for a long time, it's gonna be straight. And then I have to sand and sand and sand, and you know how I feel about sanding. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. This actually scares me. Like, she she scares me. This this is not normal <laughs> but i am impressed girl clean up your your work area oh, your dog come on oh and then the sanding oh your dog is sleeping in it come on Oh my god, you can- That mess. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, you're cleaning it, good. And oh, you're sleeping, good, good, good job. Again. Nice. Yeah, Shaking okay, that's good, that's good. It's far, far from perfect, but it has the shape I want, and I think it's good enough. While we're at it, let's just uh, add some yeah. elements up here. Ooh. So one down, one to go. Oh, that looks so good. Step block complete. Man, that took uh, way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I mean, it's been like, I don't know, five days? Man, seven days this is awesome. This thing. And now with this A dark, week? We can do the covers. And since we're trying to do everything to scale here, I have these boards that are six millimeters thick, which is a lot thicker than what I would normally use for, for book covers. But when it puts it on there, it just it makes sense. 
Looks, I'm impressed. Looks pretty good to me. Just gotta chop one more, and that's fine. I'm impressed. Four layers later, and we have this. Very sturdy, all glued together, and I tried to shape it around the spine here. It fits perfectly. So we have a front cover, a That's spine, nice. front cover, but this is a bit plain, so we're gonna do some embossing of a cute laser. Here we have a nice little three millimeter wooden piece, but a bang bang. I buy this now music. We just cut it. Pinky, there's the pattern. Go and start. Oh no, we gotta turn on the fan. Okay, good. And go. I vibe this music. Beautiful. There's layer number one. Layer two. Now we just need to glue it. I vibe. This is good. Look at that embossing, baby. Nice. And also, the laser cut would really help to like stiffen up the boards a little bit. That means we have to address the issue of the leather. See, the thing is, if I grab Tell me. this any one of these goat hides tell me what's going on with the leather it here it's not large enough to cover all three pieces right but i have a solution that i think might work i don't know if this was like a you thing think. everywhere but i remember so vividly from when i was a kid there were these black notebooks with red corners and red spines everywhere i don't know is it just me but i was basically thinking to copy that design so if i have a piece of leather on the front a separate piece of leather on the back Ooh. and then a separate Ooh. piece of leather again on the spine that attaches to the front and back and we have everything covered in leather let's do the back first just to warm up a bit then the front and the spine okay so we have leather water moisten it up and glue let's go oh. Oh, that's what okay I like this I like where this is going so that's how book find how like leather stuff works Press. even see where it's glued and i don't think we even need the rivets like this contact glue solid just look at that line almost can't see it like you can see it a little bit here that's it cover check so now we can start adding that's impressive here. first of which is going to be a nice little stamp that we made with our newfound blender skills so we basically just 3d modeled it printed it out and that's it like and the thing about this is you can't actually like use a mallet and hammer it on like you would with metal stamps so we basically have to clamp and stamp around the whole thing so it's time for the clamp and stamping i kind of have to have the text block in here to have something to clamp against oh jesus oh, oh, oh. the first moist maker and now you just gotta gotta soak a bit got my clamps oh. I'm, is this even i'm impressed it's not deep enough well 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 i see no other option What are you doing? I'm gonna have to stand on it. I did make a test piece where I stood on it and it worked. A little bit scary though, I have to admit. And also another problem is on one side of the stamp here, it's kind of leaning down, so I have to like wiggle it back and forth. It's like stepping on a Lego. <laughs> I moved it with my foot. Can I see? Is it fit? There. Perfect. I put my weight on it. How bad is it? <laughs> um, okay. I mean, I think it's fixable. Just gotta do it again. Just try to align it. Try to focus the weight on the spot where... Uh, this is like <laughs> my nightmare. It's not perfect the first oh, time okay, around. <laughs> I think I can come back to it and try to redo it, but for now I just want to try to make like one border down. Yeah, this is my uh, nightmare. I can't handle. Not perfect, and uh, now my feet hurt. <laughs> there are some places it got I... a really nice impression, and other places oh my God. it really. Oh my God! I really don't. Can I just call it like that's now? like my pet peeve? Patina? Patina. Probably not, but uh, <sighs> I'm thinking. 
it's my pet peeve that things aren't perfect the first time, which makes me very, very upset, you know? Like, it has to be perfect. It has to be good, you know? It really sucks. Anyways, I just realized she's she's dressed in blue, and I'm blue. And her hair is purple, and my, and my dress is, is purple. And then we can go from there. Oh. Oh, hey, she's got a Patreon. That's cool. Oh, it looks like it's getting better. I think all the other borders, then the one along the spine, turned out really nice and crisp. So this being a little off, I'm not too mad about it. I'll just call it weather. I still have a little more carving to do along the edges and stuff here, so Ooh. let's just fix that. I'm just constantly impressed by by this. I need to like step up my game when it comes to like book binding. Now that's cool. Oh. Now that's cool. Okay, so we're gonna make some ornaments for this book and I think we should have metal ornaments because metal makes everything better. The problem is I That's really it. don't like working with metal. Like the threshold is so high. Instead, I'm gonna use 3D printing where the threshold is so low. All you need is giant 3D printer and a UV curing chamber and loads of cleaning liquid <laughs> messy good that you oh. are gonna get all over Excuse yourself me. and your hands. Everything, but once you have all of that, no problem. So yeah, I've actually already 3D printed it because you know how that works. I'll probably not open this, but because I need to wear a mask. But here is the centerpiece, the Ooh. final result. Just kidding, because we're gonna metal plate this. This looks so cute. Oh, Hansi, Hansi, how we're gonna electroplate this? Oh my, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> this is gonna be a four step plan. I got it all figured out. So the first step will be this. We have to psh, 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 prime it. Okay, let's go, priming. <laughs> uh, that has to dry for a few hours, uh, so I'll be back. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's dried, so the next step, which is... I, I can't, I, I've tried to react with stuff. Uh, anyways. Paint painted with conductive airbrush paint. Now this is oh. with metal in it, I think. I'm gonna use the airbrush. Ooh. So step three is to suspend it all in a copper plating solution so that all the copper can attach itself to the metallic paint that we just applied. For that we need some See, glass. these are smart people. These are smart people. Way smarter than I am. It's blue. So all I have to do is to press this button to start. Now we wait. The results are in and it's... It's okay. I mean, it could have been a lot better. It could also have been a lot worse. The details are quite hard to get into. And when I made this model, I made a lot Ooh. of nooks and crevices. Probably should have made it a bit simpler. But you know, Martina has her demands. She wants the aesthetic. We're gonna try to I move on and gold plate this, which is gonna be so much easier. Okay, so for the gold plating, Ooh. I have this gold pen and this plating solution. Now the idea is I dip the pen in the solution. Oh, don't go down there. No, 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 no. It's stuck. I lost it. <laughs> okay, we're back. So I recovered the tip. We put the tip on the metal and we have this wire on the other end that we just hold on the metal and it makes it conductive and the gold just plates on where you brush it. This is so cool. Oh, that's so what smart. That's way smarter than I am. Paint or something. That's so smart. I want to do. And now, before Man, this we move is... on, it's time for an ad for this plate. This plate creates this beautiful. Man. Okay, so this is like inspiring me to do like a professional book binding. Man, I want to do this. I want to do this so badly. If needed, Anyways. Nothing. So if you think this sounds interesting, make sure to check out the link down in the description to get a discount on this plate today. And back to the project. So while Hans has been working on all these Ooh. awesome metal ornaments, I have been working on 
some belts are basically made all these decorative belts along the spine here mm. and you can see oh, I've excuse me. everything in place and if i open it you see i kind of had to drill in quite far because the board is so thick to even get it in place and also there's a little <laughs> bit of glue behind here so they're really just stuck in there i've also made Ugh. these excuse oh my traps. goodness why do i keep glitching out of existence I think it's because I'm but sick. I'm I think it's just because, because I'm sick. I'm yeah. Everything first, and really, that's all that's left to do. Stain the leather and Whoa. apply all the metal ornaments. Oh my god, it's so close to done. <gasps> Let's finish this. Oh man, this is so impressive. It is complete. <laughs> Yay! Now the final moment that I've been waiting for since the beginning of this entire project. The one thing I wanted to even make this book for. The sunset. Right, I just gotta lift it. And then drop it. Okay. Three, two, one. Uh, uh. Yeah! <laughs> the whole floor just went shaky. It's okay, Nori. It's thumped. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> oh, hi. How you doing? <laughs> Love it. You kind of came at a very bad time because after uh, after this video is no over, I'm going to end stream. Now, before we take a closer look, just two quick things. First of all, we are going to make our central in Birmingham and open shop in Ooh. San Francisco. So if you want to meet us, uh, be oh, that's cool. labeling to both events down below. And what, uh, second of all, oh, this was six months ago. <laughs> since we posted everything because we took a one week holiday, which was so amazing and very much needed. Yeah, I just want to oh, thank good you for them. all so good much for, for continuing to support us through watching our videos while we're away, even if we're not posting as much. <laughs> And of course, a huge, huge thank you to our patrons for continuing to support us. You guys are just amazing. Mm. And it still baffles me that we can do this for a living and people want to support Aww. us. So thank you. Thank you so much. And if you want to join us on Patreon, you get a couple of perks, like our Behind the Forge series, where we answer your questions about our project. One nice motion. Now let's just see how flat does it lay. Oh my god, you see how flat that is. I mean, it's probably the weight because, of course, it just flattens out because of the it's heavy, so impressive. Like this whole book is so impressive. <laughs> like no professional wizard would ever have that. But yeah, that's that's a cool that's a cool creator. Who is this? Uh, Nerd Forge. What other? Oh, that was me again. Hmm? Man, it's so impressive. Like, this whole channel is so good. Man, I want to make my own, like, big old book like that. Man, it's so cool. It's so freaking cool. Man. All right. Well, I think I think I'm going to call it quits here. And yeah, I can't exactly Yeah, I'm just going to call it quits here. So, um, hope you have a good rest of the day. Be be good people and yeah. Uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.